You are not very well if you're not afraid of a cat. You're very healthy looking. And the cat is just gonna start playing with you. When you hit by a car and you're stunned. Oops. Okay. Maybe I'll put you on a fence post. No, no, Inca, leave it. Don't, don't bite me. Don't bite me. Oh, something's wrong with your eye. Oh dear. Okay, you've probably been hit by a car and I hate to say it, but knocking you on your head is probably gonna be the kindest thing to do. Yeah, look, see, this eye's all closed. Okay, I'm gonna have to put it out of its misery. It's obviously in a bad way. So I won't video um, killing it, but that's the kindest thing I can do to it. It must have been hit by a car. The road is just down there. So it probably flew up here and the effect. There's no blood anywhere and its wings are fine. So I'm afraid I'm gonna have to put it out of its misery and knock it on its head. It's in very good, healthy form. Okay, sorry lads. I'm going to turn the video off now. These are the crows. I knocked the one on its head. It really was getting it out of its suffering. It was not going to live. Even if I brought it to the vet, the vet would have just put it to sleep. But they're all collecting around. They've noticed its body. Um, I left it as fox food for the fox. You know, one bit of wildlife can feed another. And so they're seeing its body. So they're all flying around, having seen its body. Now, I don't think they saw me knock it on its head, but it was obviously not well. I mean, it was really, I think it didn't have long to live. I just put it out of its misery. So, it's out in the field there. And the fox will get it tonight and have a dinner. And potentially will feed its cubs. So, that's the cycle of life. And nature. And all those kind of things. They're still flying over the body. Checking. Hopefully they won't dive bomb you. It wasn't your fault. You didn't hit it like a car. No. They're still all flying around, looking at it. 